Okay guys, this will be a quick video in in how to use a breadboard. Um, and we will be using like a DC power source. As you can see, there are some polarity indication here you can use in both sides. In this case, I will be using this side in here and this side in here. So uh, by connecting uh, the lead that is coming, bringing power, the two leads that I'm bringing the DC, to any of the uh, to the power rails, I connect this in here. Uh, this all this section here will be energized with the same polarity, right? Um, before I keep going, I, I want you to show you a quick picture. Here, this is a, a breadboard inside. Uh, let's say that I open the the breadboard. As you can see, these are the power rails. Those are metallic bars. So electron will flow through here, as you can see. There is no connection between this point and this point, right? Whatsoever. So all the white is a uh, isolated material. So remember guys, the electron flow uh, just in, in conductive material. And in this section here, you can see that the setting is different, right? We have a one big chunk section here, one big section here that is uh, dividing the two sides of the terminal strips. And as you can see by, you will see the, in the, in the breadboard, the hole will be in, like, uh, in this arrangement here. So as you can see, it's different from the power rail. Okay, now we are back to the uh, breadboard. Remember that all this was the power rails and the metallic bars are like this. So I can bring power from any of these holes because I have already my lead from the DC power source. So it doesn't matter if I wanna bring the power from here to here. It doesn't matter if I plug this uh, resistor in this hole, this hole, this hole, it doesn't matter. It will be the same. Let's uh, build a quick series circuit and let's complete the path, right? We have to complete the path for the electron flow. And here, you see? So as I said, remember that I can plug this resistor here in any hole because this is connected by a metallic bar that is under those holes. So it doesn't matter if I change the location of the hole, you see, still working the circuit. And the same in here, it doesn't matter if I change the location Right? I cannot put it here, right? Because this is a different metallic bar, right? But I can put it here. Same with the resistor. I can put it in any hole that is in the same metallic bar. Uh, in the terminal strip, um, remember that power flow is, for example, all these holes are connected together. All these holes are connected together. So, for example, here, it doesn't matter if I change You see, it doesn't matter if I change the location, All right? It doesn't matter if I change the location here. Right? As far as I put in the same column, it will be fine. But I cannot put here because these this uh, column of hole of holes are not connected to this one here. Okay. But as far as the column are connected, I can put it in any of those. So I hope that you understand this video. Um, I hope that it clarify how a breadboard works. Uh, oh, before leaving, I, if I want, I can. If I want to bring power directly here, I can still do that. But it won't work like in the. It won't be the same as a power rail, right? Because remember that in those holes, they are not connected. The the metallic bar are not 
all the way down. Remember that in the terminal strip area, the the metallic bar are connected like this, right? But still, I can, as far as I bring power, I can do any circuit I want, as far as I understand the principle of how to, uh, how current flow, right? But I can still build a circuit here, but remember, look, I put in here, remember this is not a power rail, that is why it won't work. Right? Remember that is not a power rail either, so in terminal in the terminal strip area, terminal strip area, um, remember that the power flow differently because the metallic bar are connected differently. Okay. Still the same circuit. Here, see, light is, light is on, light is off, on, 